what is it about this film that sets it sort of apart from other films that focus on the financial industry in Wall Street? Um, actually, what I was just saying, which is I, I, I think that, you know, you get inside, and this is a very small group in a 24-hour period having to make a huge decision that, in, 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 in fact, is going to affect millions of people's lives. And, um, and uh, those select few have the, have the strings at that moment, and I think that you, you, you see the moral dilemma that they're facing and um, and the difference of oh sorry the difference of um, positions and um, and power it's, it's I think it's really re really relevant uh, thank you one more in back for me thank you under your shoulder to your left please which side is that over here thank you thank you because no studios will hire us to do movies, so we have to do independent films, because our talent doesn't have value anymore. That's true. Try to get a movie on together with the cast that we put together at a studio. Good luck. They wouldn't produce it. Did that change the experience being here? Uh, look, uh, you know, you, you come to a festival with three hopes, you know. You hope you get some buzz, you hope you get some reviews, and you hope you make a sale. So the fact that we've managed to accomplish that before the movie premieres means that we can all relax and sort of enjoy the night. Uh, because, the, in a sense, the work's been done. I mean, I'm mostly looking forward to seeing the film in front of an audience because I, I haven't seen it in front of an audience before. And I'm very curious about how it's going to play. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, and uh, it was it was a great story. And when I came came along, there was already some um, amazing cast involved. Ke Kevin Spacey is a is a is an actor that I've admired for for years. And I I feel you know I've I've always wanted to work with. And I was incredibly um, uh, proud and, uh, and feel very privileged to have have got to work with him. Do you think this film will give the audience a different outlook on, on how they view people who work in the financial industry? Yeah, I, I, you know, I hope so. It's a, it's a character-driven piece, and you you meet a lot of different people. Some people who feel so, who are very amoral, and some people who are actually quite moral, and some people who are going to be sort of absorbed into that system. But if the system is about making as much money as you can, and that's good, then we suddenly started to blame people for trying to make as much money as they they could. You know, it's the it's actually the system that needs to be looked at rather than the individuals, I believe. And last question. Um, I'm sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. That's oh, all. we're here at Sundance, and yeah. the film has already been picked up by a distributor, so yeah. how does that sort of change the experience of being here? Um, it's, uh, you know, you... you I, I, I came out here to sell a movie and didn't need to, so it allowed me to drink a lot more red wine than I probably should have. Absolutely. So tell me, what was it about this story that really so made you want to get involved a horrible, with greedy, terrible human being. Well, I mean, it was a fantastic script, and I mean, obviously a timely uh, subject matter. I mean, it, JC um, gave it such an authenticity that, I mean, I actually assumed that he was more of a finance guy, and that maybe this was his baby, and he wasn't even particularly creative, at least not outside of this, this subject. But um, he was really incredible, and I mean, after I met him, I was... I mean, listen, I also was in no position to say no, because this <laughs> cast is, like, out of control. And, you know, like, who, who, who would I be to say no? I'd be like, mm, let me think about it. So, you know, for me, it was just a no-brainer. It was very easy to say yes. And what was the most fun part of working with this incredible stellar all-star team? Well, there, there were things that were fun, and there were things that were, like, valuable. I mean, it was like, we had a lot of fun. We actually, you'd be shocked because the movie's pretty serious. Uh, but we, we the, all these guys are jokers, and I am too. And so we just were laughing and... Uh, it was it was an, an incredible time, but I would say the most important moment for me was listening to Paul and Kevin talk about theater in Kevin's dressing room uh, over cigarettes and red wine, and it was very uh, just just li listening to them kind of wax philosophic about about you know the craft. I don't I don't get to I'm not around that so much. It was it was really wonderful. And 
you know, you guys come to Sundance with the hope of selling the film. Yeah. You've already done that before this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Does it change the whole experience of Sundance for you at all? Well, I don't know any better because this is my first time, but... Yeah, it does. It makes it much more celebratory. It makes it, there's no, we're not worried, you know. I mean, from what I understand, it's, it can still be a pretty nerve-wracking thing, even though it's celebratory. But for us, it's kind of like, well, we did it. <laughs> Some of them, before they even landed, the film was sold, you know. So, I mean, I was here early snowboarding, but uh, it's, it's been great. It's been a dream. And w since this is your first time at Sundance, what, has been, what have you been most looking forward to doing while you're here? Honestly, the, I was most looking forward to getting on the mountain to snowboarding because the rest of it, it's like, it's amazing. It's and it's wonderful, and I was so glad to see them again. But it was snowboarding for me. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You know, it's a topical issue, and um, I thought the script was nice. It was sparsely written. It had to have enough space to be able to play the characters. Uh, I think I, I know when I read about the financial collapse. Uh, that this is based on, roughly based on. Thank you. The first thing I thought was, you know, it was, well, well, what were they thinking? And well, this film sort of is more about that, I about, about what I'm goes on. Do you think it aligns um, the audience a well, different perspective on, on the men of Wall Street and, and uh, the men that work in the financial is, uh, industry? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. All I was hearing was Kevin. <laughs> Do you think it'll give the, the audience will have a different perspective? I don't know they'll have a different perspective of them, but what they'll do is be able to understand and relate to the humanity of having to make a decision based on uh, accounting, based on uh, you know morals and the dilemmas that happen in any workplace and the politics that happen in any workplace. I mean that's what's sort of exacerbated in this film. And you know, we're here at Sundance, which you guys have already, you're one step ahead, you've already got distribution, so does that change the experience being here? Yeah, we, we just having a good time and loving everything. <laughs> it's been great. And is there anything that, you, that you're looking forward to doing while you're here at Sundance? Uh, I really have had a great time hanging out with all these people. You know, we're pretty tight. And uh, it's going to be good. Thank Cheers. You. A moral, an actor some in the, the film and also a producer. Yeah, right. The film has already been picked up for distribution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels incredibly, uh, it's a huge relief. It's a huge celebration. Jeremy Irons is my left, Paul Bettany is my right. I can't complain. Uh, all of the cast is here to support the movie and to celebrate it, and I think the, the, the one word is really celebratory, you know? I think that's the, the pervasive sentiment tonight. What was it about the story that you really wanted to, wanted to tell it? I thought there was a real um, human perspective that JC was able to capture, you know? I think we all have dealt with the ramifications of this uh, financial collapse, and I think JC was less interested in judging people and dragging them through the coals than he was in exploring uh, the ramifications um, and the consequences of what these people were a part of, these characters in the film were a part of, and that was something that was really attractive to me. It was there was an ambivalence to it um, that that I felt would be appealing to an audience, and was a big part of the reason why it was the first thing that we got behind as a production company to to make happen. And I mean, for an independent film, you have um, amazing talent in the film. How did you sort of line everybody up? It, it had a lot to do with the material. It had a lot to do with JC and uh, his ability to articulate uh, his perspective. And, uh, and then it had a lot to do with, uh, with people's spirit of collaboration. Every single actor in this film, they're titans of, uh, of, of the craft of acting, really. But, uh, but every single person in this film came to the table with a sense of commitment and preparation that I was inspired and staggered by every step of the way. So I'm really glad to be here. And I haven't seen, you know, I've been involved in post-production, obviously, as a producer, but I haven't seen this version of the film in its entirety. And to see it in a theater this big with this many people is, uh, is a great honor. So I look forward to it. Absolutely. Congratulations. they say to my wife, I think we'll be out in the Come here, give me a hug. Get a picture, guys. Here we go. There we go. Good head, guys. Please try and pause. Appreciate it. Good head. Good head for us, guys. In the back.